The destruction exercise that took place was solely because the ballot papers were printed by the Australian government prior to the creation and tabling of the Electoral Commission Boundaries or EBC report and recommendation in Parliament. Upon further consultation with the Electoral Commission, the EBC has recommended that seven electorates be redistributed and elections of each of these electorates be conducted in the 2022 national general election. These ballot papers are for the former electorates, I could say. Former electorates meaning we uh, did redistribution by the Electoral Boundaries Commission, we removed, we made selection of uh, 13, 13 new electorates all in the boundaries report. In the report 13 of the 13, six will be implemented in 2027. And there are seven that are being implemented today in this election in 2022. Commissioner Sina explains that this exercise is also for transparency so Papua New Guineans are aware of what is happening this election. He elaborates on which former electorates the ballot papers belong to that are being destroyed. So what we are going to destroy now today is a total of 648,478 ballot papers. Okay, now Kairu we have 101. 1,878. Lagai Pogara, we have 194,600. Middle Ply, we have 44,100. Talasia, we have 88,500. Ijivitari, we have 48,600. So we have 11,000. Morobe for Kololo, 47,400. Komo Magarima, 106,450. And uh, Kandep, we have 6,400. New ballot papers for the newly established electorates have been reprinted by the Australian government and are ready for this electorate's polling, which started today. The new electorates are Delta Fly in Western Province, Hiri Koyari in Central Province, Popondetta Eben in Oro Province, Nakanai in West New Britain Province, Wawaria in Morobe Province, Komohulia in Hela Province, and Pogera Payela in Enga Province. Florence John Duo, National MTV News.